The History of Cognac dates from the 17th century. The noble drink received its name from that of the French town, situated on the Charente River, just north of the city of Bordeaux. On these lands, they grow those famous white grapes of the Uni Blanc sort, which build the base of the Celt Cognac. Celt is one of the few cognac brands made exclusively of the grapes grown on the chalk soils of the best region of the province of Cognac, the Grand Champagne area. After double distillation process in the traditional alembic still, the wine turns into the Grand Champagne colorless distillate with a well-pronounced fruit and flower aroma. The cognac is born when the noble spirits meet the Limousin Oakwood, considered to be the best in France. Of these mighty trunks, skillful masters make barrels in which the cognac spirit will turn into a refined and exquisite drink. Years of aging ensure the bright bouquet and the fine inimitable aroma of the Celt cognac. All the Celt cognacs are aged for much longer than it is required by French standards. Once Mr. Celt and the master blender arrive at the exact balance of the blend, the Celt cognacs embark on their final and unique method of maturation and finish. In 1987, Mr. Olev Kelt, the founder of the worldwide known Cognac House, decided to create a drink uncompromising in its quality for true connoisseurs. It was he who suggested the innovative idea to revive the 18th century tradition and to ship barrels with the already aged Grand Champagne Cognac to the Round the World Tour. As even centuries ago, it was found out that the quality of the cognac shipped from France to the colonies in oak barrels would develop in an astonishing way during the long sea voyage. The constant rolling of the sea, frequent temperature and air pressure variations, and the sea air itself, all these factors together, they magnificently amend the cognac quality and create inimitable blend. The procedure of the ocean extra maturation lasts for three months and is called Tour du Monde, the French for Round the World Tour. The Celt Cognac House is the only one possessing the right to take its products out of the province of Cognac and then bring them back. The ship sets sail in the port of Le Havre, calls several ports in the north of Europe and then heads on to the south crosses the Mediterranean and gets to the Arabian Sea through the Suez Canal. From there to Sri Lanka, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea, Japan and across the Pacific to the United States, to Los Angeles. Then through the Panama Canal it goes along the North American coast and reaches New York. And in the end, Kelt crosses the Atlantic heading on to the home shore of Le Havre. After returning to France, the Celt cognacs are allowed a period of rest for some time, and only then they are bottled. Only the cognacs aged for more than 35 years have those taste and smoothness that the drink acquires under the influence of the sea elements. Every bottle is accompanied by a certificate, indicating the route and all the ports called. Here are the elegant vessels containing the true nectar of one of the world's best cognacs. Every detail emphasizes the sea themes. The bottle represents a copy of the 1640 decanter used on the ships of the French Navy. 
It is absolutely exclusive and protected by the international patent. Tasting the Grand Champagne Cognacs is mostly analyzing the aroma. It is very important to use the specially shaped glasses to be able to enjoy all the delicacies of the unsurpassed Kelt Cognacs at their maximum. The ocean maturation tour du monde and rigorous observance of the centuries-old traditions made Kelt one of the world's best cognac brands for true connoisseurs. The Kelt Cognac. Ocean matured.